Hey everybody, I'd like to welcome you back. This is Pastor Caleb here from the Believer's Church of Madeira. This is our video series that we're doing called Knowing the Truth, where we discover and look deeper into just the simple truths that are in the Word of God. And today, uh, the last few videos that we've talked about, last couple videos, we've gone into uh, acknowledging Christ and knowing that Christ, Jesus Christ, is the only way to heaven. And by us accepting and receiving Him in our heart, and believing in our heart, but not only that, but confessing with our mouth that He is our Lord and our Savior, that we are uh, forever and finally saved, okay? So, and we've received eternal life, we get to live forever, we got to answer those simple questions. Uh, but this question right here that we're going to dive into is, what happens, what's the first thing that happens when we're saved? And, and, and there's a few different things, a couple different things that actually do happen. But one of those things is you become a new creation on the inside your spirit being. Because when you die and when you move on from this earth, your spirit is what leaves because that's the real you. So by going deeper into this and keeping it as simple as we possibly can, the Bible talks about you being a spirit being which means that you were created in God's image. He is a spirit. It's hard for our carnal brains to wrap around this, but uh, in simple terms, you are a spirit, okay? You have a soul, which your soul is your mind, okay? Your decision-making, your will, and your emotions, okay? That's your soul, and that's what you possess, and you live in a body. When somebody passes away and they move on from this earth, their body is still there in that casket or it's cremated or whatever takes place, right? So what happens? What goes to heaven or what goes to hell? It's your spirit. It's the real you on the inside, okay? And we're not going to go too deep into that, but we had to kind of cover that just to talk about what we're going to talk about today. So the scripture for today is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, and it says this. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Old things have passed away, and look, behold, new things have become new. Okay, so here's the answer to the question. Here's the simple truth of the day today in our video is as soon as you're born again, and as soon as you're saved, and as soon as you've accepted Jesus as your personal Savior, you are now in Christ. And that going in Christ, we're going to talk about that in another video a little deeper, but you are now in Christ. You're in the family of God now. And it says right here, the truth that we have today is behold, new things have become new. You on the inside are now a brand new creation, it says right here. Old things have passed away. I like to use the word clean for the word new. So behold, a clean creation, a brand new start has now started in your life. All of the old sinful ways, worldly ways, things that you used to do before you were saved have now been done away with on the inside and you've been given a clean slate. Now, does that mean you're perfect? Absolutely not. But on the inside, what has happened is God has now forgiven you of all your sins, right? Because you confess him as your Lord and Savior. You acknowledge that you were a sinner <clears throat> and you needed help. So when you did that, the Bible says right here in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, and those are, this answer is for, the, this truth is for those of you that are questioning, well, man, I still feel dirty. I still, listen, on the inside, as soon as you're saved, this should encourage you. You, it says right here, this is another truth and another promise from God. He says, behold, new things have become new. The old you has now been done away with. It's been washed away. It's been passed away. All of those things are now gone. Okay, they cannot come back the old ways that you used to live. You're now stepping into a new creation. You've been given a new slate to where now you're given a foundation, a brand new sheet of paper, a clean sheet of paper to now base your life off of the truth and the word of God to now step into the new creation. So I hope this helps you guys. I hope this gives a little bit of light. Like I said, we're kind of just hitting it real quick, real hard. We're giving you guys a scripture. I hope you guys know the truth is once you're saved, once you're born again, you are now a new creature. You're a new creation, okay? You have now been washed away uh, by the blood of Jesus. Has It's washed away all the old ways of thinking, old habits, old uh, uh, sins. All of those things have now been thrown away with. And on the inside, you are now made a new creation and new things are going to start taking place in your life 
if you start going in the direction that Christ has for you in the Word of God. I hope this blesses you. In the next video, we're going to talk about and answer the question on how to grow in your faith. I hear a lot of people talking about uh, and praying and asking God for more faith. And that's actually, I don't mean this in a harsh way, but we're going to look at the scripture here found in Romans where in the next video where actually to grow your faith is not asking God for more faith. There's another way to do it. So if you're interested in hearing that, click on our next video. It should be up here in one of these corners. <laughs> and you can also subscribe right here on the last page or on the, there's our little page right here. If you click on it, you can click the subscribe button to our page to where you can be updated when we post new videos and click the little bell, the notification button, and it'll send you notifications when we post a new video. Thank you guys. God bless you. And I will see you very soon in the next video.